Hello, hello, Andrea Tarowski here with Dental L Tutoring. I am going to be showing you guys some loops today because I had a comment on YouTube the other day asking to show you guys some loops and why I like certain loops over other ones. Now, I'm not an, an expert because I have only tried three, but I definitely love one more than the other ones and I'll tell you why. So first, I'll show you guys the ones that I don't like, but also keep in mind that everybody has their own opinions and just because I don't like something, it doesn't mean that it won't work for you. So just to keep that in mind. So the first loops that I got were um, actually used because I was a student, I didn't have any money, but I wanted loops. So I had only paid about $500 for these, which is a great price. And they did fine. Like I did have them for several years. I love them. No issues at all. So the thing about loops though, is you do have to be careful. Um, you do have to be careful with um, the magnification. So buying used loops, make sure to try them on first to make sure that they are good for you. Now I'm lucky because I just need the lowest um, magnification possible. So those are a lot easier to buy than if you need a much higher number because not everybody needs a higher number, right? Um, the rep that I was talking to said that most people only need the lowest possible unless you start to have, you know, eyesight issues and then you might need something more. So always ask about the magnification. You won't know what you need unless you see a rep to look at that for you because a rep will actually measure your um, magnification. They'll measure the working distance and there's others, uh, there's uh, there's um, bleh, sorry, there's other things too. But as I said before, when I was a student, um, I was a hygienist for maybe actually, sorry, I was not a student because I was a hygienist for maybe a couple months, but I wanted loops. So I didn't know my working distance magnification, nothing. Right. So, okay. Sorry guys to make a long story short here. These are the ones that I bought used. So as you guys can see, they're the flip up style, okay? There's nothing wrong with that, but they're heavier. So if you put them on, okay, you know, and you don't look very good either, right? But who, who, who cares? But they're a little bit heavier around the nose area. But if you're not using them, they are so easy to just flip up. So if you were talking to your patient about something, if they had a, had a question, instead of having to take them off, you could easily flip them up like this. So that does help. And to adjust them, there's a little knob here. So you, so you see the like loop lenses? You can make them further apart, closer together, depending on your face shape. So they're more customizable, if that makes sense. Um, but it's kind of like a one size fits all. So you, you, um, you can widen them. So these are wider, and then you can kind of put them closer together. So you look through like this. But the one thing that I don't like about them is over time, this area becomes quite loose. You could probably make it tighter, but I just didn't have the tools to do that, nor did I care to do that, but you probably could. But you see how this could become quite loose. So if you're working, this can go like literally, see you guys, sorry, see that? up and down. So if you're working, you're cleaning teeth and then this could move and then you're thinking, okay, now I can't see. So I have to do one of these, right? So they do not stay in place over time. When I first had them, they stayed in place where I put them because you, you just have to tighten them up for them to stay, right? Um, but I was happy that I did have these still because I had lost my main loops um, when we had moved, I couldn't find them anywhere. And now that I have used loops for such a long time, not using them, I had a very hard time working. I felt I couldn't see things properly. I felt that I wasn't seeing the tartar. Who knows if I, if I was, but I do love loops and I highly recommend them. They're a great investment. So these are the ones that I don't love but they are cheaper and they work if you are starting out, okay? But if you have the money, let me show you guys the ones that I love and the ones that I currently use. They are by um, um, Oroscoptic, did I say that right? Here's my light, um, Oros 
or a scoptic. Okay. Now I'm being honest and I'm sorry, but I had horrible customer service experience with them. Okay. Would I buy from them again? No, because I, I did not appreciate their, their um, customer service. Um, I had damaged my loops, totally my fault, but they fell on the floor and they were slightly bent um, a couple of years ago. So I did contact my rep to, you know, send them in, have them fixed. They were still covered under warranty because I had only had them for two years or, or um, something like that, a year and a half even. Um, worst customer service ever. Um, the rep was fine. So not him, but the fact that I had to go back and forth constantly, they got lost in the mail. Um, the rep didn't really seem to care. So I had to contact FedEx. I had to do this. I had to do that because these are expensive. You guys, um, don't quote me. I don't remember, but I think I paid about $2,000. Okay, but it comes with a light. Um, so again, um, I would not buy Oroscoptic again because of the, hor the horrible customer service that I had to deal with. But these are my favorite loops. So when these um, stop working, knock on wood, I will look into something else. But I'll tell you why I like these ones. And I'm just saying that because you guys know that I am, I am honest. I will let you guys know how it is, right? So what it is, is you fit them on like this and the lenses stay on the safety glasses, which I, I love. This um, orange piece here is for if you are a restorative hygienist, which I am, and you're working with composite fillings, you do not want to cure the composite filling with your light, okay? And I should turn on my light, although it might not be charged, you guys. Here, I'll see if it's charged. Um, we went on our honeymoon last week, so it's probably not, oh, it's, it is, it is on. I'm surprised because we went on our honeymoon last week and I haven't used them in about a week and a half. So anyway, so here's the light. You plug it in, you um, hold the light here and there you go. I love the light. Um, if you're a restorative hygienist, you would put the orange piece on here so you don't cure the composite. Oh, see, it says low battery. <laughs> Makes sense because I haven't used it for like a week and a half. Um, but I love these loops because the lenses are stuck on so they don't move. You see that, you guys? Totally worth it. And with your more expensive loops, a rep will measure your magnification, the working distance, everything. So these are perfectly customized to your face shape and your eyes. So that's hugely important. Um, the nice thing about um, Oroscoptic whoops, is that they come in different colors. Who doesn't love that? Blue is my favorite color, so that's why I have the blue ones. Um, and you can adjust your handles here. Or sorry, your, um, yeah, your handles. You can adjust them to fit properly, which is nice. Um, and I do highly recommend getting a light. Yes, it's expensive, you guys, but it's worth it. Once you work with a light, you will not want anything else. I'm serious. Um, when my light runs out of battery in the middle of a working day, I am sad, okay? Because then I have to turn on the overhead light and it's just not the same, okay? You need a light. That's the best thing that I can say. Yes, they're a lot of money. It's worth the investment. It is worth it. So just like I say, tutoring is worth the investment to pass and have less stress. Loops with a light is worth the investment. And the nice thing is with a lot of loops, if you don't like them, just take them back and you get a full refund. So it just kind of depends on the style you want. You can have the flip style like this or where the lenses are stuck on, which is the style that I prefer, okay, with a light. So um, if you guys are curious, I will leave the link for the um, Oroscoptic on the bottom. These have been my favorite loops ever. Um, I did try to order loops on Amazon because, again, you, you have to know your magnification, but they looked nice. They... I don't know. They looked nice, actually. 
um, a lot cheaper. I paid only $50, $60 or something, but the magnification wasn't right. So even though I knew my magnification, I tried them on and it was like, whoa, like I'm dizzy. I'm, this isn't going to work for me. I bought the ones on Amazon when I had lost these ones and I didn't know if I would ever find them and I didn't want to spend the money on a new pair if I found them, right? So I was still looking, still unpacking. So that's why I did that. So there's no harm in trying loops from Amazon. And the nice thing is you can take them back. They're a lot cheaper. I know some that love them. Some say um, loops from Amazon suck. Some love them. So it doesn't hurt to try because they're so much cheaper. But I love these ones. They were about $2,000, I'm pretty sure. If you're a student still in school, they typically offer payment plans with no interest. That's what I did at the time um, because I was in school to be a restorative hygienist and that helped me. Plus at the conventions, they are always cheaper. Talk to your rep. Um, just talk about loops. They will um, measure you at the convention, everything. So I hope that helped you guys. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. And I will see you guys in the next video.